Shalom. This is your host, Pastor Enoch Perry. Welcome to According to the Bible. Ladies and gentlemen, today my knees are a little bit shaky because uh, in the studio I am hosting the giant of the gospel. I remember in the 80s and uh, 90s, there's one man among many who filled stadiums across South Africa and beyond. I am honored to have uh, not any other person but uh, Professor Baloyi. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Mr. Perry. Adibuanji Bambo. Tiri bwino kaya ino. Ziko mukambiri. Ziko mukambiri. Tiri bwino kwa bus. Aye. Yeah. Bwino kwa bwino. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I don't know where to start. All right. I, I don't know where to start. Wherever. You know, wherever. You know um, I remember uh, growing up. Yes. We looked up to you. All right. I mean, casting demons like yes. no man's business, you know, yes. and uh, delivering a lot of people were a satanic, mm -hmm. possessed by satanism. Yep. And uh, still standing till today. Yes, sir. Still looking young till today. Yes, sir. Maybe as a point of departure, mm -hmm. Honorable Professor, would you please greet our audience? Because I, I would love their memories to be reflected of who you are. Oh, praise the Lord. Absolutely. Well, uh, let me just take this time and the opportunity to bring to you a greeting from myself and from my church and from my wife back home. Greeting to you in the name which is above every name, Christ Jesus the Lord. Amen. 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 I just want to ask you what, what has been your secret personally for you to keep on keeping on and you still look young till today? Well, there is no much secret, but everything is, is written to the book of life, which is a Bible. Mm. The Bible declares that those who trust upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. Means if a person is in Christ, it's a new creature. Mm, mm. Means this word is a life somewhere down the line. Mm. We don't take it notice about that. Mm. But what sustains the person, what sustains me up to this point, is just to fear the Lord. Mm. What, I, what I mean of fearing the Lord, there is a lot of things which has happened to this world nowadays. But if you know this God doesn't want me to do, and this does, does want me to do. Mm, you mm. keep and doing exactly according to your calling. Mm, it's, mm. it's what sustain me. Mm, it's mm. what my secret. Mm. I'm not jumping, trying to do something which uh, some other people does mm. because this is a new age. This is a, it's a, it's a new uh, millennium, and then I have to jump to to do things which other people does. Mm, no mm. ways. I'm standing onto my line. That's all. It's what uh, wow. that is my secret. You, you, you remain in your lane. I remain in my lane. Number two, I remain into my calling to know what God has called me to. Mm. I don't forget that. I know my calling and I run my life well, my ministry according to my calling. Mm. I'm not trying to divert and doing things because maybe, you know, the people that used, modern people that used to say it. Well, these this older people, their, their anointing has been expired and all this. The anointing doesn't expire, mm -hmm. doesn't, because God mm -hmm. doesn't expire. Mm -hmm. He's the same yesterday, mm. the same today, the same forever. Mm. Means his anointing cannot get worse, cannot get bald, cannot get uh, uh, rotten, cannot, get, cannot change. Mm. He's the same. Mm. The thing which we did before, he can do it now. Mm. The, 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 the different is a, a, a people which we are living in, mm. and God mm. worked according to the standard of the people, mm. the, the needs of the people. Let me just say that. Mm. Thank mm. you. Now, now Professor, uh, uh, I just want you to talk to us as young people. All right. Uh, where do you think we are going wrong with this gospel as young people? Um, Especially those of us who are in ministry. I don't want to stand here as a, as a person who's judging some other people because they're doing something like that. And then I don't want to, to stress that I'm too good, some other people are wrong. But what happened into, according to my understanding, a people that have been divert from the gospel and going into the pleasing the people. Mm. You see? If somebody is he's going to preach, he prepare according to the crowd which is going to, to speak. 
and then he prepared, and then he took there some message which is suitable to the people, though it's not what God wants you to, 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 to do. Mm, 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 mm. So I, I, I believe that this a uh, new modern people, they are too much into this uh, world system mm. because even the message is very seldom about repentance, mm. about, about, about holiness, about focusing in God, They're very sel seldom. Most of the message talking about now, what is needed now, mm. not talking about what is going to happen after the life. Mm. <laughs> mm. Because the gospel is, is containing three things. Okay. Repent mm. means you make right with God, mm. and then live a life because you're going to die and receive a new life over there. Mm. This is a gospel. Mm, mm, mm. That's what the Bible say this word. Seek ye first the kingdom, kingdom of God, God and his righteousness, and then all this, what you need, it will add it unto you. It's an addition. It's not the, it's not the primary what we have to start with. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. It's an addition of, mm. the, of the things of this, of, of the now. Mm. So, but the thing which is, is first, when you look through the Bible, John, when he came, he preached the, the repentance. Mm, mm. That was a message which he has. When Jesus came, he preached the repentance. Mm. This is a message. They are saying, the kingdom of God is at hand. What is the kingdom? The government of God is at hand. What is that at hand? It's close by. It's coming. Mm. What does that mean? means everyone will die quickly. <laughs> mm. You say you can't just live 200 years. Well, there are the people living 200 years, but, mm -mm -mm. but most of our life is being shorted. So repent because the life is shorted. But there is everlasting life after this. Mm. After this life. There is everlasting. That's why they say repent because the, t the kingdom of God is at hand. Wow, wow. This is very profound. Thanks. You know, especially uh, talking to you, I can... Uh, consider you as a legend yeah you know for, for many different ways and uh, and uh, i deliberately asked you about uh, the livelihood the way we as young preachers carry ourselves and mm. uh, thank you very much for the rebuke which we have taken because i believe that god is going to use uh, a man of your caliber to restore order yep. in the body of christ yep ladies and gentlemen you are watching according to the bible and I am in conversation with uh, Professor Valoi. Stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You know, the gospel of Jesus is about preaching salvation. And this salvation must be packed with the, the message of repentance because that is what the kingdom of God is all about. Seek here first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all these shall be added unto you. You know, Professor, yes, sir. I mean... In the 90s, to yeah. be more specific, 93, 94, 95, mm -hmm. you were considered as a demon chaser. All right. You were plundering hell to populate heaven. <laughs> In yeah. every crusade, yeah. there were manifestations of demons. How mm. did you get into uh, the deliverance ministry? Okay. But let me just a little bit in a very, very short time to, to explain about my calling. Okay. How did God call me? When God called me, he said, I will be preaching the gospel of repentance all over the world. Mm. Number two, I will lay hands upon the people, upon the sick people, and sick people will recover. Mm -hmm. Number three, I will raise the dead, and then I will make the blind eye to see. It's what he taught me. This happened early, early 70s. Mm. Now, when I start early 70s to preach, I didn't know what it's all about. I didn't know what to preach because in my family there is no evangelist. I didn't know anything about, about preaching. Mm -hmm. But I, I had a hunger to, to look for the people who preaching such a gospel okay. until I, I won't have a time to explain much because it's okay. a very broad. Okay. But while I was bu busy searching the people who preaching this kind of gospel, following with these signs and, power, uh, signs and wonders mm. which I've been told, I couldn't find anyone, but finally I found the man who was dealing with this mm -hmm. by the name, the first person which I, I, need, uh, I met him, I met him, it was a uh, pastor Matebula from Guiani. Okay. He, he was casting the demon, praying for the people, but I, 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 I saw him just a little while. When I come back, because I was living in Jamestown, 
and then in in Katlo Hong okay. is where I get yeah. I get born again. Okay, okay. And then in 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 1972, I met the man by the name of Pastor Richard Ngidi. Okay, Baba Ngidi, yeah. And then I, I I went to his crusade, and I saw for the first time I saw he prayed for this blind people, and then he prayed for the lame to walk. I was, it, it was like a dreaming. I said, I, I never heard about these things. And then because I was young those days, I said to myself, how can I get this? Yeah. <laughs> because it's what God told absolutely, me, it's what God absolutely. has shown me. So I don't know how to, op how to obtain this. I asked my friend, where did this man come from? He said to me, from Peter Murray's bed. And then I made my way. I took a lift from Catalonia. I remember in Leondale. <laughs> mm, 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 the, the old road in Lyon. Yes, yeah, yeah, I yeah. took a lift there. Uh, I didn't know about this English and all this kind of language. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a Shangan. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I stayed there, and the young boy, a young white man, he just come and stopped his car and then asked me a question Where are you going? I, I know Africa, I, I know Tatalapa because I was working in the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, Fanakalo. Go, yeah, <laughs> me, me, uh, you see, yeah, me, me, go wing, go wing, <laughs> Maris bag, I show you. Maris bag, he said, come in. I get him. When I reached Maris bag, <laughs> to cut my long story short, yeah, yeah. when I reached Maris bag, I asked the people in the garage, I said, do you know the man who prayed for the sick and getting healed? They said, yes, Mr. Gita said, yes, it's what I want. I, l listen, I, I did have a seven cents in my pocket when I, I left okay. Germany. Mm. So when I asked the people in the garage, they said to me, okay, the bus standing there, you, you pay seven cents. Exactly the money which I have. Seven cents? Seven cents. And then I get the bus, I, I, get the bus, I, 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 just, I just get off where the, the, the bus was, where, where the house was, and then I come, and then we, we start to talk. It's a long story. I cannot okay. elaborate in the, in the details. What, what happened? I sit down in the morning, and then because I got him, he was in the, in the crusade, and then he come midnight, and then early in the morning, mom, she called us. She said, uh, uh, son, just come to have a breakfast with her with mama. And then I went there. I sit down. I look at the man. He's, I ask me a question. He said, young boy, where you come from? I said, I come from Jamestown. He said to me, do you know me? I said, I, I saw you once. He said to me, where did you see me? I said, I saw you in the crusade. And he, he laughed. He said, I know what you want. Wow. Hey, when he said that, I feel, <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I got it. Yeah. And then he just, he just touched me here yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I just bring the whole shoulder because <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to get this power. You Absolutely. Know? Maybe this is a way to get me power amen, from amen, from this man. Amen. And then he said to me, you, you, you're looking for the gospel which is coming by the pastor? Yes, sir. It's what I, I, I'm looking for. He said, how did you come here? I said, I came here by, by, the, by the lift. He said, that way you came here is the way to lead you to the, to the healing of the sick, healing of the, of the blind people. Well, it's a long story. I, I, I depart with him. And then uh, uh, other occasion, I met him at, at, at uh, uh, um, uh, Ermelo. Yeah. He had a crusade. Ah, I went there. I sit down and then he called all this. He called this, the sick people. But before that, I went to his place where he was, he was living. Okay. I knock in the morning. I'm hungry. And then there's, oh, you know, these old people, oh, they have got a good heart, man. Yeah. When I knock, he said, call this, that young boy. Let him come to his bedroom. I just come to the bedroom where he was. Wow. He said to me, sit in the bed. Oh, I said, what is this? He said to me, son, today... I'm gonna, he said, I never dream. I never see the vision. But today the blind will receive their sight. I said, what? He said, today. I said, well, how did you know? He said, I believe. He just put his hands in his shoulder. He said, I believe that God is gonna do it. Well, to cut the long story short, I went to the service. It was a day service about nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. They brought a young, a, 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 a blind people, about 20 of them. They just in the floor, it was a, another lady, she was uh, uh, lying down. The skin, it was just in the bones, just like a skeleton. And then when he prayed for the, for the blind people, he said, do you see Ngiti? They said, we don't see him. He said, today we see the Ngiti. I said, never. Today, <laughs> I, I, come, I just come close. I want to see how he do his, his thing. Yeah. I just come closer, yeah. you know. 
And then he said, close your eye. I will tell you how, when, when you're going to open your eye to sing Gidi. And then he just goes, he tells like this, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I said, oh, this man doesn't have power. How, how is God this boy going to heal? Because he's supposed to, yeah, but he doesn't. He does, he's just simple. Well, after that, what happened? The people, he, he said, open your eyes, sing Gidi. All 20 people there, op open their eyes. And then the, the one was, it was like the, she tried to wake up. He said, no, 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 I'm not talking to you. And then I'm, I'm busy with the blind. When he's busy with the blind, he come to that one. He just he said, in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. She stood up like a skeleton, you know, you know, like, 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 like a little, little cow or, or dog or whatever is, that is, is born. She just, just looked, looked like this. But eventually, she received the strength. He said, walk. And then he walked. I said, my goodness. It's, it was, I said, this is what I want. So it's where they started. But let me jump a little bit to come into the deliverance. Because there is a difference between healing and the deliverance. That it, it was the 70s. Wow. You know, you, know, you know, this is so profound. I just want to, to cut you a little bit so that we can go and pay some bills. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching according to the Bible. Today, today is the day the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it indeed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am in conversation with uh, Professor Valoy. Professor, uh, go on. Sorry for cutting you. <laughs> okay. Now, in that 70s, I was dealing specifically with the repentance, which evangelism. But in 1990, 1980s, my, my wife got sick. She was, she was mad, mixed up in the mind. What mm. I pray for her, nothing happened. And then uh, after 18 months, she was sick, made, I cannot explain. But uh, after 18 months, God spoke to me to take care to Baba Silinda at the Grenville. Mm. Uh, Baba Silinda took her, he just put in the very small room. She was alone there for seven days, no food, no water. But from there, she was delivered. She was absolutely healed. Mm. Now I said unto myself, God, mm. I need this kind of power to deal with the demonic. Because the demon had tormented me because I was living in the hell. You know, mm. to live with a wife who is mm. mixed up in the mind is something else. Mm, mm. Now, the very same year, 80s, I met the man who deal specifically with the demonic. I was, since I met Babangiti, I was dealing with the repentance, with the, deal, with the healing. Oh, I saw God does a lot of things, healing cripple, blind, dead, rise from the dead, a lot of things happened. But now we come to the deliverance. I've heard about the man by the name Pastor Ginger Nene. Okay. And then uh, I met with him. He, he was in, in uh, Daviton. Okay. So when I just come to attend his service, I saw the man, he preached. I cannot tell what he was preaching because his message is very simple. Mm. 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 He walked into the, into the platform. I saw Jesus walking before him and was following Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Mm. When he was walking and the demon is screaming left and right, he cast them. He just says, hey, Pumala, I said, my God, this is what I want. <laughs> I said, this is what I want. To cut my long story short, and then I, uh, uh, one day he was preaching, he was doing all these things of walking, but while he was, I was facing this way. He coming this way, walking, I'm just in the passage, he walking in the passage. I saw Jesus walk before him. Jesus passed here, I was not sleeping, I was, he passed here. After, after Jesus, it, it, it's a nene. But when they come, at the back, Jesus was carrying the garment, a maroon garment. It was like 
was, was in the blood. Mm -hmm. And then Jesus, he put me that thing. I was mm -hmm. looking here and was at my back. He put that thing, I felt it was like, it's a difference between the skin and the flesh. Mm -hmm. That came, it was inside. I say it myself. I cannot tell that I faint or I sleep or I does what I cannot tell what was happening. I cannot, up now, I cannot recognize. But that day, my life was changed. Amen. Now, this is what happened. I said, I want to follow this man. I, 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 I walk with him. I travel with him. I drove him to, to East London. I was his sofa. Drove him East. I learned all this, how he attacked the demon and how he addressed the demon. And then I said myself, because I was afraid of the demon before. I was afraid of the demon. Being Sabana Batagati, who is Angola bringing sour? But after I see the man, how he operate, I was so bold enough. Now, when I come from East London, that was 1988, I come from East London, my life was changed and I started to operate. Because one thing which makes the people to excel into the gift, if you are a prophet, you never walk with a prophet, you will make a lot of blunder. So, True. Whatever a gift, you must get somebody who walk ahead of you Absolutely. in order Absolutely. to sharpen your gift. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if that is not that, you, you create a lot of damage. I'm not there. Now, when I'm busy uh, operating about the deliverance and casting out the demon, oh, I didn't know about the devil, but uh, I'm casting the devil. So one, one stage, I went to America. That was 1987, uh, 1993. I went to America for, for support, getting some money, for looking for some funds. I could, in, in the plane, and God said, where are you going to? I said, I'm going to America. He said, we won't get the money there. I said, how should we do it? He said, tell the African people to give the money. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, because if I, if I, I, I allow the American to bless you, and then I'll bless the American. No, tell the African people to give, and then I'm going to bless them. But now, allow me to take it to another new dimension. I didn't know what it was. But when I come back from America, it's where I start to experience about the deliverance of the devil worshiper. Wow, wow. You, you know, because I, I don't have much time. I've got uh, two minutes remaining. Like, uh, can you please explain to our viewers the highlight of your ministry in deliverance? In two minutes, if you can. Okay. The, 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 deliverance, of the a deliverance of the demon, simple demon, is something else. To deliver a witch is something else. To deliver a zombie is something else. To deliver a devil worshiper is something else, which is not the same. Because they're not operating the same. But to, to cut, I think next time we'll come and talk about absolutely, this. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, we talk yes, about this. To, to say where the devil come from, how the devil operate, in which way, how to feel when the devil operate in you. No matter you're a pastor, you're an evangelist, you're whomever, you're a prophet, the devil can operate to anyone. Mm. Mm. Even if he doesn't afraid of anyone. Mm. I can quote. When Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, the devil followed him there in the mountain. While he's filled with the Holy Spirit, he talked to me with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yo, yo. We'll, we'll come and talk about this that next time. Wow. Thank wow. you. You know, Professor. Yes, sir. You, you, you are loaded. And, the, and the, uh, uh, my producers, and, uh, uh, the, the, they have really seen how we need to continue discussing this discourse because yes. uh, it's very critical. Mm. I really want to thank you uh, for coming to our program and I, I hope they're going to create time so that we can continue discussing this very critical issue. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching According to the Bible. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Till we meet next week. <music>